Hello, welcome to this video. In today's video, we're going to be revisiting the video canvas. After my last video went up, I had a couple of comments about the resolution. So NVIDIA Canvas only outputs 512 by 512 images, and obviously for anything relatively useful, that's not really high enough. At the end of that video, I did use just a free AI upscaling service to bump that resolution up a lot higher. I think I ended up with a resolution of 3000 by 3000. Someone in the comments of that video, uh, RandmanQ, uh, mentioned Gigapixel. They've been using Gigapixel to upscale it beautifully and also reduce the noise. And then Billary Squinton, which, great name. Uh, yep, yeah, leverage AI to enhance AI, generated image. Now we're thinking of portals. It is AI-ception. So I thought I'd check out Gigapixel. Um, it's not free. I'm not paying nine ninety nine ninety nine 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 for it. However, there does seem to be a free trial. So hit try for free, put in your email address. You will get sent a temporary password and you can download the product from that link um, you can see that it's downloaded and installing here um, so while it downloads in the background I am going to head over to NVIDIA Canvas and we'll, we'll create something so here I am in NVIDIA Canvas um, last time I did kind of like a mountain-esque scene uh, I'm quite interested to see if we can do something similar to this image a nice nighttime scene um, quite like this style as well. Let's go, so let's see if we can do some starry. Um, so the first thing we wanna do is, I guess, get a bit of a foreground in. Or should we, let's do background. I want some sort of mountain range in the background. So background. So we'll just, in the background, just put just a little bit of a mountain range. Fill that in. Well, looks like someone set up camp there already. And maybe just bring it up that way. There you go, that looks like it's in the distance. See, one of my main complaints with uh, NVIDIA Canvas is the fact that if I wanted a mountain range here and then a mountain range in front, you can't really do that. Um, so, for example, if I do a foreground mountain range and I draw this on, it just continues on this the the background because it's it, it kind of it's on this side. It compresses all the layers just into these color blocks. So, what I mean by that is because there's no blending style, so I can't have a layer of fog in between these because this would just overwrite the fog underneath. So, um, we'll get rid of that background layer for now. Um, and then we'll see if we can do this this arch archway. Um, so we'll start off quite quite big. See that didn't produce the best result, did it? Well, I suppose that wouldn't be mountain. So technically, would it? So let's let's add some stone, a stone layer. How about if we do a stone kind of outcrop like that? Okay, I mean, sure. It's not exactly what we wanted. And at the front, I'm just gonna get a bit of a grass layer at the front. Kind of just here. And a bit of a foreground. Okay, so I mean, it's not looking exactly like that, is it? But we've got the grass, and we've got some mountains in the background. Um, I'm gonna go back to the, the mountains. Just make them more, more mountainy. Instead, with this stone, if we, I'm gonna go just erase this. It doesn't look like we're gonna achieve this. So what I'll do is I will make some sort of monument. If we get the some hills, maybe change this to the the hill layer. Put some hills, maybe forest on top of the hills. So 
We've got a bit of a tree line there now. Can we get a bit of a... How will this affect it if we have a tree in the foreground? Okay. I mean, no, that's not... That's not what we want, is it? Um, so kind of just in front of the forest, let's get some, a weird kind of weird sort of stone monolith. Reaching higher than the mountains. Okay, I mean, that's quite interesting. Call this the stone wall. And we should have stone wall. Maybe have a wall leading up to it. Nah, that doesn't, that doesn't look great. Uh, what about if we Wait, water. How about we do some water? Bit of a pool. How does that look? Okay. It's got more of a waterfall route, which I don't hate. Okay, let's get some more stone. Just be cliffside. Maybe a bit of gravel. See, because it's dark, it's kind of hiding some of the floors, like, if we look at in, in the light. I quite like that. It, it almost looks like an old, old-style painting. You know what, if we get some, finally, just a bit of fog. Ooh, a little bit of mist, really. Like, it's that tiny dot. It's a lot of mist. I guess finally, let's get some some clouds in the background. Doesn't like clouds. Oh, there's one up there. That's nice atmospheric, isn't it? I like this waterfall. Can we get a bit of water going like back that way? What happens there? No, see, I do quite like. Okay, I mean, I quite like that. There we go. So this is it. Daytime. Let's go to the nighttime. I'm quite quite happy with this this version. So now we can export this as a PSD. And then we will have to open it in Photoshop and save it out as a PNG and then use Gigapixel to upscale it. Okay, so here I am inside Topaz Gigapixel. You can see I've opened up in Photoshop here and saved that out. Um, never actually used this before, so let's see if we can figure it out without having to watch a tutorial. So I'm just going to drag in the second canvas here. 
And more downloads. Hit with more downloads. Let's see what happens. Okay, so that's processed there. What are we on? We're on two times the width. So this is the original. This is the preview. I mean, it has cleared up quite well. We're on zoom, 118%. Can we go bigger? Let's go to 6% and see what happens. Okay, so this is six times the size. And that puts that at 3,000 pixels. Okay, and from here, that is crisp. That, is, that looks really good. As soon as you zoom in a little bit, I'm just going to turn off this little preview. As soon as you zoom in a little bit, it does get... Obviously, you do see those kind of artifacts, but I think considering this is six times the size, that is really good. Um, there's also these different AI models down here and lots of additional settings. Uh, don't need color bleed or anything like that. Let's see what it looks like with the low resolution uh, AI model. That says it's for best for images with blocky compression artifacts, which this doesn't have necessarily. Uh, there are some, obviously it's a heavily compressed image because it's small and it's made up f from another AI. Um, so let's just see what that looks like. Okay, so that's done. We're at six times with the low resolution model. Um, just from here, that looks really good. Let's zoom in. Let's have a look. Move down here. Let's have a look here. Okay, I mean, I am I'm really impressed with this Gigapixel AI. 99, $99 though, it's quite a lot. But I can see if you were doing a lot of these and you wanted those bigger, bigger images, definitely worth it. Like, look how quick that crisps that up then and how well, how well it's done compared to this being the original at 512. Very cool. Click on auto sends. Let's see what that does. I mean, this is a good sort of test because you you've got that the blurriness between them, and that that makes that really sharp with small amount of, like almost chromatic aberration. But yeah, I'm very impressed with that. Okay, so let's save that out and see them side by side in Photoshop. So when you save it out, obviously we're in the trial, so it looks like it's going to put a watermark on it. That's fine. Output directory, same as the image source. I'll do it as a PNG. Compression, that's fine. Save directory, yep. Let's, let's hit save and see what this looks like within Photoshop. So just so you can see, this is the, the small version. This is the original version. This is the version that um, Gigapixel pumped out. And I mean... Yeah, that's crazy. I'm honestly really impressed. Um, but yeah, there you have it. This isn't sponsored by Gigapixel. Like I said, I've never heard of it before. Um, I just used the free trial. But if you like the video and you want to see more of this, uh, make sure to hit the like button below and subscribe to see more content. But in the meantime, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.